Hey, how's it going everyone? Adam here from the Arcade, and today we're going to be starting potentially a series of videos. I'm not sure how many, but basically I'm going to be starting as a level one character, no secondary character, so no money in the bank or anything in GTA Online in 2024. Kind of what inspired me, I guess, to do this video is that I've been looking for a game to play while listening to music or podcasts, something that I can just sort of, you know, turn my brain off, focus on something else. And I know that since I last played this, there are a lot more ways to make money solo. Uh, I do plan on playing it with friends here and there, but I'm definitely going to be focusing on the solo grind more. So let's just, uh, let's just see how it goes. Let's make a character real quick. Even this is different from when I did it because the stats I'm pretty sure the last time I played it was that long ago where it was my character from the PS3 when I was playing on PS4 and then since then I haven't even created a character where you just pick your stats here. I used to used to have to do like what your character would do in their off time and that would dictate the stats. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, let's get this character made and get into the game. I am going to do the tutorial. I'm going to do everything as if I was a brand new player. Alright, so here are the stats, and you know, Chief here is someone that's not afraid to have a bit of fun. That's 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 the goal here. Looks pretty proud of himself. Oh, is that? That's not. Is, is this a motto has ruined my intro cutscene already? I can pretty clearly remember the hype around this when it came out. You couldn't really get into a game for the first couple of days, but just everyone was waiting for this to come out. You had two weeks essentially to finish the story mode and like everyone did, everyone that I know. And then you could finally get online if you were lucky, but you know, a few days later it cleared up a bit. Untraceable. You gotta love that. Who your partner is, pimp? Who your partner is? <laughs> Future Adam interjecting here for a second. You'll notice a blur on the right side of the screen where the text chat is, and it also will be blur right above the mini map because of text chat and usernames that are definitely not safe for YouTube. So that's why those blurs are there. Wait, do you not get to choose the car, or is that after this? Am I the fugitive? Primo. Or the tailgater. Let's try the fugitive. I can't remember, or well, I don't really know Real if you can know. lose this race. It's scripted at all. And I'm pretty sure other people can join it. I, I, I kind of remember that early days. If you did this, people would join it, but maybe that's completely wrong. I would really like to do some like normal GTA online road races, not GTA races, like actual, you know, sports and super races. But I know that one, uh, there's not going to be too many people doing just standard races. And two, if I do, I'm not sure how clean the racing is nowadays. I'd imagine it's not the best if you just actually want to race. Ooh, took that really wide, but don't think it's going to matter at all. Now, I do play quite a bit of GTA RP, but that is not a turn your brain off and listen to podcasts or music sort of game because, you know, you're kind of interacting with people most of the time. And on 5M where I play RP, I have uh, like some graphic mods. 
so the game does look a lot better on there but honestly it still looks fine most of the settings here are maxed out in fact i'm pretty sure they all are except for maybe like ambient occlusion and you know the game looks pretty good still especially you know what was it 2015 it came out on pc so it still looks good and you know 2024 it runs pretty flawlessly at this point yeah easy enough i i don't you might not be able to lose that race so i think just to get my first level up my first four and a half thousand dollars as well yep there we go level two and now i'm pretty sure you you get introduced to like gerald after this it just sort of set you up for like the first sort of missions that you would have done early days how is lamar made more money than me there and also lamar you should be at least level 100 by now let's be honest the tutorial as far as i can tell is basically the same maybe since the 360 and ps3 days but there are people in 2024 that are still going to be doing this for the first time that's sort of what is really interesting to me that they haven't changed this at all yeah this is the introduction to gerald which is which was the main grind in like the first year or so of the game just contact missions rooftop rumble if you know what that is you were definitely around early days or you've probably heard about it because it's kind of legendary at this point and i'm not going to be doing you know whatever the meta is in terms of making money like i will do some new stuff but i'm not gonna like i'm gonna still do contact missions and stuff like that here and there even though that is definitely not the fastest way to make money um, i'm just sort of doing this to chill out just see what the new player experience is without using like you know optimization guides and stuff on how to you know level up how to make money just like like i said the main goal is to have a game that i can chill out i'm pretty sure i need to shoot yeah these guys are headshots only need to get some snacks to refill my health I'm probably going to play on private, like, you know, invite only sessions just to avoid griefing and like modders and stuff. But, uh, you know, I'll, I might play with randoms here and there. They're in the white, in the, the ball. That's a pretty good shot. <laughs> it fell out of the window, I guess. So you sort of start with a race and you start with a mini contact mission. I don't know if that's one that you can repeat. I'm hoping I can get to the end of this mission without any grief from any people in the lobby. You know, it's, I guess it is kind of the territory that you're in. Now, on GG Online, you kind of accept that that might happen. Hey, G, come out here, man. My folks here. What's up, dog? How you doing? Well, goddamn, you anti-social motherfucker, you gonna speak? Hey. See? I told you, y'all gonna get along great. Y'all can get to take this shit on the road. How your little ventriloquist act going on? Maybe you can stick your hand up his ass. Give him the dope. Yeah. All right, here. It's right. Don't bother counting it. You get anything else interesting, bring it my way. <laughs> yeah, what I tell you, what I tell you, motherfucker, we like you. And now you got you some bread. What you need to do is go get you some motherfucking gear because you bummy as fuck. Yeah, that's crazy. I like that outfit. <sighs> Chump change. Level three. Let's go. So close to 100. If that's the goal, I guess. That might be it. No. They want me to get changed. All right. Maybe, maybe we just, we just get some accessories. Oh, here we go. Oh, they're expensive. You know, I have to be careful. I don't have, you know, I don't have much money. 520. Perfect. Hell yeah. Won't make, they don't, I don't need to buy anything else. That was enough. The great start. Honestly, the, the, the starting sort of. That cycle they put you on where you do the race and then you do the Gerald mission introduction. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Very easy, very quick. But I think it's good that they give you a character that you'd be familiar with from the story. You know, some good dialogue. 
obviously not from you your your character does not speak at all but yeah all right let's see what's next hey hey it's your boy ld if you need to get some cheese real quick fuck with me we got licks all over town just waiting to get hit just walk in with the blam blam and point it at the fool behind the counter he gonna break bread and they insured don't nobody give a fuck no way it's all good i've been peeping this one spot they've been making a gang of bread you down with that shit one of the homies gonna meet you at the store to help you knock that motherfucker over all right so now they're introducing you to like the the uh like 24 7 shop hold ups yeah there we go I feel like this is not going to give you much money. I don't think it gave you much money at any point. Yeah. Oh, oh you got to be kidding me. Wow. He's pulled out the gun. And he's, he's almost done me in. Nice. All right. Is that all for the tutorial? I wonder. All right. So now they want me to go to Los Angeles Customs. I, I don't know how much is left. Uh, obviously, this is a very, 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 very simple stuff that they're trying to, you know, teach people that have never played online before. But this, you know, I'm trying to do the full new player experience. All right. My first car, Chevel Fugitive. No upgrades available. An engine upgrade probably not worth upgrading this definitely not worth buying a you know a horn or well, we, you know it's probably not worth buying anything for this one may maybe you know maybe we respray it but i didn't want to spend too much money on this type of car And I'm a long way, you know, unless I go shark cards, I'm a long way from affording any of the top tier cars. All right. Now, Jared wants to see how good a shooter I am. Fair enough. He's got a lot on the line, you know. No, my beautiful car. Now I'm, I'm good. Now I'm in, I'm in my, it's my own world now. All right, let's see what we can get up to now that we've finished the tutorial, kind of, technically. All right, so I'm back. It is a little bit later in the day. I'm in an invite-only session just because, you know, I want to try and check some stuff out without potentially getting modded because I am on PC. I know the next-gen consoles, or well, I guess current-gen consoles, have a few extra features, like the uh, HSW cars and stuff like that. But... That is, uh, I, I don't have an extra console at the moment because I didn't play it when I had it, but you know, maybe in the future. Anyway, I just kind of wanted to look at the map and see you know, what's new. Is this just a, so I know about the time trials and I know if on next gen you have the HSW time trials. All right, another time trial, stash house. Let's check that out. I don't think I remember that. I don't think I remember any of the purple icons on the map. I also want to point out that you might be watching this video and there's a very good chance you know a lot more about GTA Online than I do, especially in 2024. So if there's anything you want to share, like feel free to let me know in the comments. But like I said, I'm not necessarily trying to find, you know, how to make the most money in the smallest in yeah, in the smallest amount of time. I'm just trying to have like casual fun on GTA Online, not take it too seriously and just sort of do what feels fun and not try and turn it into a monotonous grind where I'm just doing the same things over and over again. I'm sure I probably will find certain things that I enjoy grinding and, you know, making money that way because, you know, while I don't want to just do whatever the meta is over and over and over again, you know, it is GTA Online. I would like to eventually have, you know, maybe a nice couple cars or so. Yeah, there we go. Stash houses have begun operating out of Los Santos. Rate them each day to receive a reward. All right, cool. Let's see what this is like. All right, let's, let's, this is cool. Let's see what, let's see what this is. 
pistol out just in case. I'm running. Oh. Oh, shit. Sorry, Charlie. I don't want to get smoked. I got smoked because he had a... Oh, no. It was just a pistol. I thought it was a shotgun. Oh, okay. And there's only three left. This... This, this guy down... No. Okay. He does have a shotgun. Okay. Okay. Well, let's see. Do I have any snacks? Oh, no. Oh, no. I am dead. He's right. Oh, my God. I should have just looked down. Oh, you can't shoot through it. I have like what? Oh, okay, I got more. I got more. I got a m SMG. Wait, I got him. Oh. I okay. Probably didn't need to make it as hard as I did in the end. It's so funny. Like this is kind of the cool thing about starting news that like everything sort of like everything matters right now. Like just finding ammo is nice. Oh, let's break in. I don't know what the code is. Could this be a code? One. Me three. What do you got? Hell yeah. What do the contents include? That was fun though. A nice little side activity. View the area. Certainly. Oh no. Now will you find. Sweet. Alright. Oh, 33,000. Not bad at all. But you know. <laughs> that's a lot more than you would get from like random side activities back in the day. But <laughs> I have no idea what's good for this iteration of gta online and you know what speaking about back in the day let's uh let's go hold up another store for a bit of fun and there's one over here it's like i said i do play rp so i am pretty familiar with the map uh but uh, you know a lot of the rp servers especially nowadays have a lot of custom assets you know the general locations of everything is very similar or if not the same but there are some like, you know, Legion Square, for instance, in most servers is, is different. Why are you already angry at me? Oh, oh, All right, you better not try and shoot me this time. I shouldn't be wasting my, my bullets, should I? Now, All right, they didn't, they, they didn't want the smoke this time. You know, there is always a bit of fun in GTA, isn't there, when it comes to, you know, getting in your car and just escaping the cops. Like, you know, it's pretty classic GTA free roaming fun. But, you know, there's a reason why it is fun. Uh, yeah, let's take a let's take a drive up north. Do it G's cash is. I've always been pretty partial to the north side of the map of, you know, of San Andreas, where in particular Polito and just like in the non-city areas, but that's sort of a, not just a GTA thing for me. I've just, I always like those like little towns in any game, whether it's like, you know, a GTA or like a, you know, an RPG or anything. I've always liked the smaller non-major cities. Uh, I just think it makes the world just a little more, feel a little more lived in. But of course, when it comes to, you know, actually playing the game, there needs to be a reason for you to be in that area in the first place. I'm not sure how much, you know, content there is that's primarily focused on Polito or Sandy Shores or Grapeseed. Oh, now I have to find it. Make sure it's not this little box here. Wait, is it? It is. Oh my god, that was loud. Was that another 35? 
And snacks. Okay, Gerald, I see how it is. He's gone from paying me a thousand dollars to seventy thousand. Oh. Gerald, always liked you. All right, I've got an idea of how to end this. No, no rooftop rumble. Day ruined. I do remember violent duck. Oh, you can see it. These are the ones I've played when I. That's cool. So the the ones that I liked when I originally played it are still here. Like I said, I think I got to level forty maybe. But I deleted that character for this series. It was level either in the thirties or forties. I didn't play it too much on PC, but I have played it quite a bit on console. Ah, uh, balls to the wall. I remember this one as well. Let's do this. This would be a good way to end it. I know this is just not optimal at all for making money, but easy to do. Ah, uh, this is a classic. I don't have any. You can't hear this. I don't know why I'm doing this. And starting weapon. Give me the pistol. Give me some ammo. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I could use some some armor. All right, let's go. Oh, I f forgot that the when you start to drop that way, you have to drive all the way to the location. I should have done methed up. Now there is a couple things that I do know about, you know, the solo grind in 2024, and I know I'm pretty sure it's the Kea Perico is the first one they added that you can do solo and i'm pretty sure they've added one more as well since then or maybe they adjusted ones released prior to that where you can do them solo and i think i probably will at some point check those out and uh you know i guess the thing is once i've done those one time then it becomes sort of like a really long contact mission where i know what i'm doing and i can just do it in the background sort of you know, and by in the background, I mean, like, like I said, the reason I started playing is so that I could have a new game to play while doing something else, while watching a movie, listening to music, a podcast. And, you know, for the most part, it's pretty straightforward GTA Online, but I've never really done the heists fully. And I haven't done those newer ones, like newer ones. I know they're years old at this point, but Keira Perico, for instance... I'm assuming it's pretty straightforward, but I don't know how much I'm going to have to pay attention the first time around at the very least, but I'm interested to see how it goes. And also just, I mean, I'm very curious about how one, how long it takes and two, the payout just because already I can tell that you make more money in this game from the new things I've tried. There's two stashes. And the, the reason I know that is because those stashes was $35,000 and it took, they will take like a minute each, you know, you have to get to them, I guess, but they, they don't take very long at all. And back when I was grinding contact missions, like the one I'm doing now, I think the most you could get paid after they fixed it was like maybe 12 K. And that was if you did it in the optimal amount of time. So yeah i definitely think i and i know for sure from just what i've heard that you make more money now but i also know that things are expensive cars are expensive uh the houses and stuff i don't think they've changed much because when i was uh when i was looking at it when i deleted my old character i don't know how many of the houses and stuff are new if any of them and they're all around the same price but I'm pretty sure the main benefit for the houses is just to have that heist room if you want to do a heist setup yourself and also the the nicer ones have 10 car garages. I definitely remember the purple shaft out here. Okay, can't jump over there. So they're going to know straight away. So I think it's better just to better just to get rid of him early rather than being in the car. Well, that was a nice shot. Oh, 
Come on. Show yourself. Oh, don't. That's fair. It's your choice. So this is a balls area, you know, in RP, this is very frequently Vargos in like every server I've ever played. But obviously very different from standard GTA Online. Do I need to get rid of him or I drop him off? Guess we'll see. Maybe I will get rid of him by the time I get to the dealership. Are you kidding me? I can't imagine this is going to be great pay. Is Simeon the first time that my character's seen him? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So maybe you did get more than 12k back in the day because that was. Uh, but I did have to drive all the way from Grapeseed. So maybe that's why I got more than I was expecting. All right. Well, that's going to do it for episode one. I hope you guys enjoyed this sort of video. Just. And, uh, you know, a bit of a simple look at the game from a low level when you're doing everything sort of for the first time. But yeah, that was fun. I, I'm really interested to see more of the new stuff. The stash houses were cool, easy and good money, I think. Decent money at least. But yeah, like the video if you did, subscribe if you want, and I'll catch you all in the next one.